supposed to be a skirt, but maybe it's a shawl. Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel Casalistic and hi if you're new. So today just continuing the ho 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 theme. So <laughs> Christmas would you like I look a bit like an elf with this on don't I? <laughs> just need that. <laughs> Maybe a project for next year. <laughs> Definitely not this Christmas anyway. Enough of the silliness. Um, so today is uh, quite a, a short simple video really. Um, I have made a skirt for my Christmas tree. Um, it is a hexagon if I've got my ships correct. Um, it has a split obviously so you can wrap it around. Um, yeah it's pretty unremarkable really. Um, this is uh, all stitches are uh, US double crochet, UK treble crochet I had to think, really think about that then. Um, so, uh, I quite liked this pattern. And I will tell you about the pattern in a second. But, uh, because it's got these unusual bits in the corners. Just to kind of make it look a bit different. Um, I'll try and do it a bit closer. So you can see you have these. Um, now they're double trebles in US terms. And I can't for the life of me remember what they are in UK terms. Is it double double treble I don't know I can't remember but they're they're, they're the, what, sort of basically the longest stitch you can do in crochet that I'm aware of um, down into the row before on each corner so as you can see there and there and there and it's like that all the way around it's basically a repeating pattern I think it gives this really lovely effect it sort of just makes it look a little bit different so the pattern um, was actually a YouTube tutorial that I found um, by the Crochet Crowd. Um, I'm sure most of you are aware of the Crochet Crowd with Mikey. Um, the only thing I will say, um, that I'm trying to remember, he either had it down, I think he had it down as easy or intermediate uh, pattern. The only thing I will say is he does go very fast. Now... I can crochet at an okay speed, but I'm not what I would call a fast crochet. When I watch some other people on YouTube, I kind of, ah, oh, how are you doing that so quick? Um, but I have, I, I crochet like um, Zoe at 24 karat crochet, where I pull the yarn over with my left hand. Um, that's probably because I used to knit as a child, um, so it's kind of a habit, I think, of pulling yarn over. But also, um, I broke my wrist when I was a teenager, when I was 18. And I broke it just above my joint. Um, on the whole, it doesn't give me any problems. But, um, and I typed for many, many years. So I don't know if it's damaged from typing or from the actual break itself. Because um, it had to be re-manipulated back in place because it actually went out of line. It wasn't nice. Not something I care to repeat. Um, and I... I actually broke it bell ringing. You can stop laughing now. Maybe I'll tell you the story of that another day. But uh, anyway, I can sense you're laughing. So I'm going to stop there. But I find that I cannot rotate my wrist very well. I can do it. But to repetitively do it causes me some issues. So I, I don't crochet in the traditional sense by doing it all with a hook like that. Um, just practicality. But I know that... Um, I'm pretty sure Margaret Olander, she, she's sharing crochets the same as me. And I know that Zoe of 24 karat crochet definitely does. Um, so if you're a bit of a slow crochet, I'm kind of going off on a divergent there. I don't know what that's about. But basically, I'm quite a slow crochet as a result. Um, he does go super fast. Uh, if you are a slow crochet, you will need to pause it a lot. And I would say if you're an absolute beginner, I probably would, would wait until you're a little bit more advanced. But of course, it's your choice. So... Um, but I did enjoy the pattern. Once I got the hang of it, because um, he does about the first three rows, I think, or four rows, and then sort of leaves you to get on with it. Um, there is a pattern on his website, but um, from what I could see, it wasn't a PDF, so it wasn't downloadable, which means either doing screenshots or having to have the web up all the time. So that was 
kind of a bit annoying um so i just went from the youtube tutorial um it was pretty easy it's just the corner stitches you really need to remember and the rest is just double crochet triple crochet in new uk terms uh, double crochet in us and that's it it's a pretty simple pattern so the yarns i use dun 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 and I do need to stipulate now that although I do share a lot of Mariner Double Knit yarns, that I am not sponsored in any way, as nice as that would be. <laughs> um, it is purely that they are a cheap yarn, they work out a pound a ball for plain colours, and being a carer on a very tight budget, that was all I could afford. And I have been sent lots of other lovely yarns by Sean, um, Sean's Crafty Corner and... Uh, Kelly at I'm Yarn Inspired and also Marie Knit Crochet Mad um, and I haven't used them yet because I'm trying to find special products so I'm, I'm trying to use up some of my stash um, because storage is an issue um, and as much as I would like all the yarn in the world <laughs> it doesn't happen so I'm trying to use up some of my stash so these were kind of stash busters for balls of yarn that I'd already started so I was trying to use some of them up so Mariner Double Knit for those of you that may be new and the colours I used were C-032 and the colour is red there we go so it's just a sort of poppy red colour or pillar box post box red if you're in the UK and then the other colour um, th that red is one of the older codes so the code may have changed but I know they do still do red so um, if you look up red, I'm sure the new code will come up. Um, this, uh, the next, obviously the other colour was green. Um, it's called emerald. This is the newer code, so you should be able to get this one. And it's 091. It's just kind of a grassy, kind of deep grassy green. That really doesn't want to focus, does it? Okay, I've taken my word for it. This is as clear as it's going to get for some reason. I won't focus. Um, yeah, so 0, 091 Emerald. Um, I did wonder about putting um, maybe a cream or a white in between the rows. I really ummed and ahed. And then I thought I thought it might brighten it up. Because the only thing with red and green, because they clash, I always find they can be a bit garish. So I did um and ah with this. Um... The reason I didn't use cream or white in the end was uh, simply because you're packing it away from half the year, you bring it out year after year after year and I didn't want to be constantly washing it um, and I was worried that the colours might run. They might not but I thought, you know, why it gets stained easy, you know, I'm, I'm thinking like in practical terms so um, the reason why my tree scope you're probably going oh that's tiny if you've got an enormous tree at home <laughs> um i have a little tree that is only four foot high and it has quite a small base um i bought that many years ago when i lived on my own in a little bed sit so i didn't have much room because my living room and bedroom was all one room and um i bought that tree off our local market now it was when um for those of you in the uk will remember woolworths <laughs> Um, and Woolworths was still around, but um, they they'd uh, basically sold some stock off to uh, one of the market traders, and um, he had a brand new Christmas tree up for sale for for, for two pound fifty. Now I will add this was a few years ago. Um, we're talking probably about fifteen years ago, so it's quite some time ago, um, and that has been my bargain tree. I've had it up every year since it looks as good as it did new and i'm really pleased with it so i thought it was about time i had a skirt around it because i've never had a skirt around any of the christmas trees even growing up it just wasn't a thing when i was growing up um and we used to have much bigger trees then so i just thought little thing took me uh, about three days to do on and off you know sort of during the evenings so it wasn't too bad um, obviously if you've got a bigger tree then it would take you a lot longer and of course if you're going as an elf anywhere then you can always pop this on with a little elf hat and... yeah. <laughs> so that's uh, that's 
all I have to show today. Um, sorry, it's not terribly exciting, but I did want to keep up with the Christmas theme, and of course, I wanted to get that on around the bottom of my Christmas tree so I can put that up. Um, something else I just want to show you, which is a recent acquisition. Um, as many of you know that our regulars will know that I'm, I'm very passionate about the charity Woolly Hugs. Um, I'm not going to go into details. If you want to know about Woolly Hugs, there are quite a few videos that I've done talking about them. Um, I will put a link to the website if you want to go and see what they're about. But they do help people with angel babies, they help refugees, um, they do all sorts of different projects um, that you can um, make stuff and donate. And just recently they had a competition. Um, I didn't enter because I just didn't have time to, to sit and draw, even though I've got an A-level in art, which I never use. Anyway, um, the competition was to do a design on some tote bags. And uh, the, this was the winning entry. Like I say, it's not, not mine. Two little sheep knitting and crocheting which I thought was super cute um, it's actually purple it's coming up a bit of a weird colour on camera so I don't know how true it will, to colour it will be but, um, as many as you know purple is my favourite colour um, they haven't got these for sale at the moment um, they're £6 um, but I thought this would make a really good project bag as well as obviously going out shopping but I will use this as a project bag um, I do know that they will be getting some more in stock so I will put a link to the website I just thought you guys might like to see because I know that a couple of you have been um, also donating things to Woolly Hug so I thought this is a really cool thing you know that you can help the charity and also obviously benefit yourself um, and I'm really pleased with it it's made of cotton and it's just it's really lovely so that's going to be uh, one of my new project bags I haven't actually used it because I've been saving it to show you guys and I've had it a few weeks now um, but uh, if you follow the Willie Hugs on Facebook she will put up when the next lot are available and they do go quick so get in quick if you want one um, so that's it today um, I'm hoping that next video will be another wise man um, if not it will be a snowflake uh, uh, bunting banner whatever you want to call it um, but I'm hoping that I can get another wise man done, just time depending, I've got a bit of a crazy week. So um, that's it, um, I hope you enjoyed it, uh, don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you did, and uh, please leave me a comment because I do love hearing from you all. Um, so till next time, remember stay well, happy crafting, and remember hit that subscribe button and stay true to yourself. Bye.